sa mga last few lessons natin, pinag-aralan natin yung mga exponential, exponential equations, inequalities, tsaka yung pag-graph ng exponential function. So, ngayon, ang ating pagbibigyang pansin naman ay ang kanyang kakambal, which is the logarithmic functions. Pero, mag-uumpisa muna tayo kung paano sinisimplify ang mga logarithmic expressions. Para naman masimplify ang mga logarithmic expressions, kailangan din siyempre pag-aralan yung logarithmic rules or laws of logarithm. Pero siyempre, bago yan, let's take a look on the objective for this week and the content of this video. Sinabi ko na kanina na itong mga laws of logarithm ay ginagamit para masimplify yung ating mga logarithmic expressions. Pag nagsimplify ka kasi ng logarithmic expressions, magiging mas madali yung pagsusolve mo ng equations, inequalities, at pag-graph mo ng functions. Pero bago yan, kailangan muna natin pag-aralan kung ano nga ba yung definition ng isang logarithm. A logarithm is an expression inverse of what exponents are. Kaya sinabi kong kakambal siya kasi hindi naghihiwalay ang dalawang yan. Logarithm is the inverse of exponents. Likewise, exponent naman yung inverse ng logarithm. It shows the number of times that a certain number must be raised to produce a certain number. So medyo magulo siya. Para sa mas madaling paliwanag, Pinapakita lang ng logarithm kung ilang beses mo dapat i-raise yung isang number para magkaroon siya ng isa pang number. So dito ang pinag-uusapan ay exponent. Exponent ang nagiging result. Yun yung number must be raised. Halimbawa na lang ito. Log of 8 to the base 2. Yun yung magiging basa dyan. Logarithm of 8 to the base 2. Yung 2 ay base, yung 8 ay constant. So, kung meron dyan letters, constant pa rin yung tawag. Constant of logarithm. This means that there is a number when used as exponent of 2 will result to 8. Ibig sabihin, may number dyan, yung buong expression na yan, ang ibig sabihin yan, merong isang exponent na pwedeng gamitin daw kay 2 or kay base na 2 na magiging result ay 8. Yun yung a certain number must be raised to produce another number. Sabihin, a certain number kung saan pwede mong erase kay 2 or gawing exponent kay 2, na magre-result kay 8. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng buong logarithm of 8 to the base 2. You can also use calculator to input this expression. So, may mga calculators ngayon na pwede nang isolve yung logarithm. And kapag kanilagay mo siya sa calculator, the result will definitely become 3. Kasi 2 raised to 3 is 8. This means that the logarithm of a to the base 2 is equal to 3. Or 3 is the exponent that will make 2 becomes 8. Generally, logarithm finds the exponent of a base that will make it as another number. Since logarithm is an inverse of exponents, we can express each other vice versa. Ibig sabihin, from logarithm, pwede mong gawing exponential. From exponents, pwede mong gawing logarithm. So, paano ba ginagawa yan? From this, yung example natin kanina, yung 2 
ang gagawin nating base ng exponent. So, base siya ng logarithm, base din siya ng exponent. Yung 3, exponent. Ulit. Yung 3, exponent. Tapos yung 8, equals. Dalawang yan, ang inverse of each. Ibig sabihin, magkabaliktad yan. Yung sa taas, log. Yung sa baba, exponential. May mga pagkakataon kasi na hindi mo kayang isolve kay logarithm. Kaya, ginagawa natin siyang exponential. So, may mga pagkakataon din na hindi mo kaya kay exponential. Pero, kayang-kaya siya ni logarithm isolve. Punta naman tayo ngayon sa logarithmic expressions. Ang logarithmic expression ay mga expression na binubuo ng numbers, variable or letters, and logarithms. So, ganito yung itsura niya. Halimbawa, log of 2x to the base 3. So, ito ay tinatawag na logarithmic expression. There are some logarithmic expressions that has a complex builds unlike any other. Ibig sabihin, medyo mas mahirap siya tignan or marami siyang cheche boreche maraming nakadigtong, maraming nakalagay. So, tinatawag yung complex. It could be reduced to a simpler form by using loss of logarithm. So, yung mga logarithmic expressions na ganun ay nire-reduce sa mas simple na itsura by using loss of logarithm. Or sometimes being used depending on the needs of the solution. Kasi minsan, expand. Minsan, ini-expand siya. Minsan, sine simplest form. So, depende yan kung ano yung kailangan ng solutions mo. So, mamaya gagawin natin kung paano yan. Ang unang law of logarithm ay tinatawag na product rule. Kung maaalala ninyo, meron din yan sa exponential pero magkaiba sila dito sa loss of logarithm na product rule. According to this rule, Sabihin, you can multiply logarithms with same basis daw. Pero pag hihiwalayin mo yan, into addition and copying the base. So, if you look at the figure, log of mn to the base b, pinaghiwalay si m and si n, and dinagyan ng plus. Halimbawa, log of 4z to the base 2, so, we have two factors here, 4 and z, and then you can split those two, and then gagawin mo addition yung gitna. Given that, you will copy the base 2. So, ayan po yung tinatawag na product rule. You can also do it in reverse. So, let's see the next example. Big sabihin, pwede kong balik pa rin yung process nyan. So, halimbawa, nag-umpisa tayo sa plus. So, i-co-compress natin yung expression. So, magiging log of 40 to the base 5. And always make sure that you can only do it when the bases are same. Next rule is called the quotient rule. So, dito naman, kapag ka naka-divide, you can split it and lalagyan lang ng minus sa gitna. Siyempre, kukopyahin din yung base. So, halimbawa, log of 4 over z to the base 2. So, pagka ginamitan mo ng quotient rule yan, hihiwalay mo silang dalawa pero minus ang gitna. Note that you can also do it in reverse. So, let's see the next example. So, kung makikita nyo rito, naka-minus naman sila. By using quotient rule, pwede mong pagsamahin. That will be 100 divided by 20. So, that is equal to log of 5 to the base 5. 
Well, syempre, meron pang isang rule na gagamitin para sa log of 5 to the base 5. Pero let's save it for the next examples. Also note that you can only do it when the bases are same. If the bases are different, therefore you cannot apply the quotient rule. Next is the power rule. According to the power rule, if a logarithm is raised to an exponent, just bring down the exponent beside the logarithm. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ka naka-raise yung kanyang constant by a certain exponent, you can bring down the exponent beside the logarithmic expression. Halimbawa, log of x to the 5th power to the base 2. So, I can just bring down the 5 and then multiply it to the whole logarithmic expression with x only. Wala na yung 5 kasi bumaba na siya. 0 rule, log of 1 to any base that is always equal to 0. Kahit 999 pa yan, kahit 1 million pa yung base na yan, basta ito ay logarithm of 1 that will be equal to 0. So, C, kailangan po, basta logarithm of 1, basta 1 ang kanyang constant. Kahit 999, ilang 9 pa yung maisip mo para sa base, ang result is always equal to 0. Next, same base constant rule. According to this rule, if the base and the constant ay parehas or equal, that will be equal to 1. So, kagaya ng nangyari kanina sa quotient rule, yung log of 5 to the base 5. Kapag ganun daw ang nangyayari, that will be equal to 1. Let's say, for example, log of 2 to the base 2, that is just equal to 1. That is same base constant rule. Well, in other books, mayroon siyang ibang pangalan, pero let's agree na same base constant rule ang tawag sa kanya dito. Next, exponent logarithm rule. If you have a base raised to a certain exponent, kung saan yung exponent niya ay logarithm, with the base same as the base given kanina, which is P, that is just equal to the constant. Okay, ulitin ko lang, if a logarithm is being used as exponent by a number equal to its base, then it is equal to the constant of the logarithm. In short, pwede mo cancelin yung log, tapos b, tapos yung b, may iwan na lang x. So, alimbawa, 9 log of 5 to the base 9. 9 raised to log of 5 to the base 9. So, we have base ng exponent as 9 and base of the logarithm as 9 and logarithm is raised. So, ginamit siya as exponent. We can cancel those 2 and then the remaining constant will be 5. Last is the change of base. This is not actually a law. This is a concept regarding on logarithms and it is quite useful for simplifying logarithmic expressions. Kung makikita ninyo, the change of base, the logarithm with base, could be expressed as quotient of their common logarithms. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng common logarithms? Common logarithms are logarithms with the base of 10. So, hindi na kailangang isulat kapag ka ang base mo ay 10. Tinatawag na siyang common logarithm. These laws are very useful for simplifying complex logarithmic expressions. Or sometimes, these can be used depending on the situation and the needs of the solution. So, ayun nga yung expand or compress. Depende yan sa kung ano yung pangangailangan ng isang solution. Simplifying complex or complicated logarithmic expressions will give you ease on solving equations and inequalities.
So, move tayo sa pagsisimplify ng logarithmic expressions. To simplify a logarithmic expression, you just need to consider all laws of logarithms. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-apply yung mga laws of logarithm. You will use those laws for making sure that there will be no processes available sa isang logarithmic expressions or even what has the solutions need. Eh, ano nga ba yung kailangan ng solution? Ito sometimes compress or expand. Halimbawa, log of 8x to 4th power over 5 to the base 2. Solution, una syempre, given. And then, gamit tayo ng quotient rule. Split up by using minus. Next, product rule. Para lang dito. Kasi nakamultiply pa yung dalawang expression. So, we can expand it as log of a to the base 2 plus log of x to the 4th power to the base 2. And then, bring down natin si minus log of 5 to the base 2. After that, you can simplify constant logs if possible by inversing or calculator. So, kapag ka may mga constant logs kayo, like log of 8 to the base 2, log of 5 to the base 2, you can use calculators to simplify this. Pero yung log of 8 to the base 2 kasi meron siyang specific answer which is 3. And then plus log of x to the 4th minus log of 5 to the base 2. It is okay to leave log of 5 to the base 2 as is because we don't have any exact answer for this kahit na mag-calculator ka that will be decimal so it is okay to leave it as is para maging exact yung sagot mo. You can use power rule kasi meron pa tayo dito na naka-raise exponent so just bring it down for log of x to the base 2. And then bring down all the remaining expressions. And this will be the expanded form of our given. Always remember that not all complicated expressions with logarithms looks like our example. Thus, the steps I've taken earlier will be completely different with other expressions to be simplified. You grab nyo lang yung process of solving, not the example. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng example magkakaparehas ng itsura yan. So, iba-iba yan. Pagdating sa solving, iba-iba din sila. So, dapat, ang ginagrab nyo is the process, not the example na binigay ko kanina. Always use logarithmic expressions carefully para maging maayos yung inyong solutions. So, that's it on our lesson 1 for this week, logarithmic loss and logarithmic expressions.